Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta and today we will understand how to solve linear programming problem that is LPP in IBM iLog CPLEX Optimization Studio. Linear programming is the mathematical technique used to optimize a linear objective function subject to a set of linear constraints. It helps in decision making processes where the goal is to maximize or minimize a quantity such as profit, cost or production output while satisfying certain resource limitations or conditions. Any linear programming problem will have three parts. One, decision variables. That is, we will have to specify the decision variable. Objective function, that is, to maximize the profit or it can be the minimize minimization problem so minimize the cost and the third is constraints Let, let's take one case study a manufacturing company produces two types of products product a and product b the company has limited resources in terms of labor and raw materials which are required to produce both products the goal is to maximize the company's profit by determining the optimal production quantity of each product. Product A sells for $1.50 per unit and requires 3 hours of labor and 5, u 5 units of raw material to produce. Product B sells for $1.40 per unit and requires 4 hours of labor and 3 units of raw material to produce. The company has the following constraints. A total of 200 hours of labor, labor is available per week. A total of 150 units of raw material is available per week. So maximum uh, hours of labor, uh, hour of labor available is 200 and maximum raw material available is 150 units. The company wants to determine how many units of product A and product B it should produce to maximize profit given this constraints. Now we will have to do the problem formulation of this case study. The decision problem is to maximize the company's profit by determining the number of units of product A and product B to produce while staying within the constraints of the available labor and raw material. Formulation of the linear programming model, decision variables. So there are three parts, one, two and three. Decision variables, X1 number of units of product A to produce, X2, number of units of product B to produce, objective function that is to maximize the profit. The total profit is calculated based on the selling price of each product. Maximize Z is equal to 50X1 plus 40X2 where 50X1 is the total revenue from product A and 40X2 is the total revenue from the product B. This is uh, $1.50 and $1.40, so $1.50 into X1 and $1.40 into X2. Constraints. The company is subject to the following constraints, labor constraints. The total labor hours used for producing both products should not exceed 200 hours. So for X1, it requires 3 hours of labor and for X2, it requires 4 hours of labor and the total hours of labor available are is are 200 so 3x1 plus 4x2 should be less than or equal to 200 raw material 5 units of raw material for x1 3 units of raw material for x2 and the total units available are 150 so the total amount of raw materials used should not exceed 150 units so 5x1 plus 3x2 should be less than or equal to 150. Non-negative constraints. The production quantity naturally cannot be negative and therefore we are specifying one more constraint. The production quantity for both products must be non-negative. X1 should be greater than or equal to 0. X2 should be greater than or equal to 0. Now let's see how we can do this in IBM iLog CPLEX Optimization Studio. Click here. Create an OPL project. 
Now, write down here. Example 1. Example, let's say, I'm, I'm just writing on any name. Here, linear programming problem. Make sure these two ticks are on. Add a default run configuration and create the model. And press finish. So now, we are ready to write the command here. Now, when you want to or specify anything, anything or pass information in one line. We will use two forward slashes. And when we want to pass the information in multiple lines, we will use forward slash with asterisk. Okay. We'll start with. We want to specify the decision variables. So. This are, uh, these are the decision variables which you want to mention here. Enter. D, var, decision variables. I'll recommend all my viewers to kindly refer my previous video on defining parameters in IBM iLog so that you can understand what is float float plus, float minus, integer, integer plus, and boolean. So here, d var, float plus, it means that, it means that, x1 can take any positive values, and it can also take fractions. Semicolon, two forward slashes, we want to define. So units of, product A to produce, enter, dvar, float plus, x2, semicolon, forward slash, units of product B to produce. forward slash this is not command this is just we are mentioning uh, uh mentioning a case study so it's a case study on linear programming problem lpp asterisk and forward slash so I repeat again, when you want to pass the information in multiple lines, you should use forward slash with asterisk, single line, two forward slashes. Okay, let's proceed further. Now we will specify our objective function. Objective function is to maximize profit. Now write down here, maximize. Fifty into x one plus forty asterisk x two semicolon fifty x one plus forty x two. This is the same thing. Just try to recall fifty x one plus forty x two. We have entered here fifty and forty are the selling price. for product A and product B. Now we will have to specify the constraints. Subject to bracket forward slash just I'm mentioning which this constraint is 
So this is a labor constraint. So what was our labor constraint? 3 into x1 plus 4 into x2 should be less than or equal to 200. So here is it. 3x1 plus 4x2 should be less than or equal to 200. Semicolon. Next is our raw material constraint. By x1 plus 3x2 should be less than or equal to 150. So there are no errors in the code as there is no cross sign. See, if you get such type of cross sign, it means that there is a uh, syntax error. Now we will run this code. So click here and just drag it and drop it in run configuration and press finish done. After this click here and click on configuration 2 and run this. Click OK. Just wait for some time. We got the output. So the solution is x1 is 0, x2 is 50. Now directly go into the solutions. So this is the solution which we got maximum profit. The solution op optimal with the objective is 2000. There are no conflicts. Anything else we have to see? No, everything is fine. Now we will do the interpretation for this x1 is 0 and x2 is 50. Let's do the interpretation of this. Given the constraints and the objective functions, we find the feasible solution and the maximum profit as follows. Feasible solution. After evaluating the constraints, the feasible solution is x1 should not be produced and x2 should be produced in the quantity of 50. Calculation of maximum profit. Substitute x1 is equal to 0 and x2 is equal to 50 in your objective function. What was your objective function? This was your objective function. 50x1 plus 40x2. So 50 into 0 plus 40 into 50. 0 plus 2000. So maximum profit which I can earn is $2000. Conclusion. The maximum profit achievable under the given constraint is 2000. When x1 is 0 units, that is 0 units of product A are produced and 50 units of product B are produced. So this was all about how to solve linear programming problem in IBM iLog CPLEX Optimization Studio. For more videos on IBM iLog CPLEX Optimization Studio, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can also refer my playlist in which I have uploaded videos on data science, machine learning and artificial intelligence. Please don't forget to like and share my videos. You can also join me on different social medias, link given in the description box.